Listening to advanced level English language speakers is a great way to improve your own English, especially when they are talking about important issues, issues that are relevant to all of us. In this video, we're going to watch Keir Starmer, the leader of the opposition, talk about the NHS and overseas workers. We're going to pick up new language, phrases, words along the way, and I'm going to give you some examples. We want open borders. Um, freedom of movement has gone and it's not coming back. So the UK left the European Union on the 31st of January 2020. Free movement between the UK and the European Union ended on the 31st of December 2020 and on the 1st of January 2021. That means that freedom of movement has ended, as he just mentioned. That means fair rules, firm rules, a points-based system. Under the points-based immigration system, anyone coming to the UK for work must meet a specific set of requirements for which they will score points. A total of 70 points is required to be eligible to apply. So if you get an offer of a job by a proof sponsor, that's 20 points. Speaks English at required level, that's around 10 points. Uh, if you earn between 23,000 and 25,599, that's around 10 points. So if you can make up around 70 points, you can then be eligible to apply. What I would like to see is the numbers go down in some... Go down means to be reduced in price, value, amount, quality, level or size. Keir Starmer is saying he would like to see the numbers of the people applying to come to the UK to work for the NHS go down in some areas. Some areas, I think... We're recruiting too many people from overseas into... Overseas means in, from or to other countries. Keir Starmer is talking about people coming from overseas. For example, the health service. But on the other hand, if we need high-skilled people in... By high-skilled, he means having specialised training, knowledge and experience in order to carry out complex physical and mental tasks. He's talking about people who are doctors, engineers electricians and so on innovation in tech to set up factories etc then i would encourage that so uh, i don't think there's an overall number here some area overall here means in general rather than in particular he's saying that he doesn't think there is an overall number as we need to go down other areas we need to go up well, but we need well, cost well certainly the, the, the experience in scotland seems to be that people just aren't applying to train. There are places that are vacant. Vacant means not filled or occupied, available to be used. The interviewer is saying that in Scotland there are many places that are vacant. In other words, nobody is applying for those jobs. That are being funded by the Scottish Government for midwifery and nursing. Midwifery is the work of delivering babies and advising pregnant women. Uh, if you do this work, you are known as a midwife and you help pregnant women give birth and advise them. It can't be filled because people just don't want to join the NHS. Well, the NHS stands for the National Health Service, the government funded medical and healthcare services that everyone living in the UK can use without paying the full costs of the service. Well, we certainly need to drive those numbers across um, the whole of the United Kingdom, and those numbers can go up, and I think they should go up, and we need funded places to drive them up. Well, we drive up means to make a price or amount rise to a higher level. Keir Starmer is saying that they need to drive up the numbers of people applying to work for the NHS. But of course, one of the reasons that um, the NHS is struggling is because it's such hard work. The conditions are so hard because the NHS has been run down. Run down means to make something gradually stop functioning or become smaller in size or number. Keir Starmer says that the NHS is being run down because it's not being funded properly. My wife works in the NHS, so this is a, this is a daily conversation about how tough it is in her hospital. It's really tough conditions. Tough conditions means a difficult or unpleasant situation, adversity or hardship. Keir Starmer's wife works there and says that she encounters tough conditions. 
we but you don't want to use immigration as a solution for that well i think that we should be training people in this country of course we need some immigration but we need to train people in this country what we've done this is an absolute classic of this tory government is the word classic has other meanings but here he means extremely or unusually funny bad or annoying he's saying that this is classic from the tories or the conservative party meaning that they've done something really bad or or annoying here. Short term fixes, plasters over problems. Plaster over literally means to cover a hole or surface with plaster. But here he's using it metaphorically. He's trying to say that the Tories are always plastering over their problems. In other words, they're trying to just hide them and deal with them only temporarily. Never a long term solution. And we go round and round in circles. Round and round is an idiom, it means moving in circles. He's trying to imply that nothing is being done, there is no end to anything, it just keeps going round and round. Every year we have a winter crisis. Here in Scotland, we've got, what is it, one in seven people on the waiting list. That is a waiting list is a list of people waiting for something, such as housing or admission to a hospital or school. Here he's saying that the waiting lists for the NHS are huge. Apparently in Scotland, one in seven people are on a waiting list. It's a total failure of the government here in Scotland. One, that is a statistic that ought to be sort of pinned up there on every little billboard across the whole of Scotland. It's totally unacceptable. He's using pin up as a verb, which means to fix a picture to a wall. But in this case, he's talking about the statistic of one in seven people on a waiting list in Scotland. He's saying that this should be pinned up on every billboard in the country. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm also going to be doing a video on the latest PMQs uh, between Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer and the words, explanations and the meaning. So look out for that one. That's why... Press the bell icon, comment, like and share. And tell me what you thought about this one. See you. Bye bye.